Recently, um, I've had some interesting experiences within walking um, my process of self-forgiveness and applying myself in self-honesty. So I wanted to share an interesting experience. Um, recently, um, I was uh, I drove into town. Well, first I should note that <clears throat> I do not have a valid driver's license. It has been suspended now for a couple of years because of a um, automobile wreck that I had almost four years ago. And because it's going to cost $500, I have not paid to have it reinstated. And I have allowed fears of being pulled over by the police and, and, <clears throat> and having to pay three times more in fines. And there is still this fear of jail, of which I have experienced in the past. So until I correct myself in all of this, I drive only rarely. So I'm driving in this small town approximately 20 minutes from my home and it's dark outside and somehow this provides a false comfort with regards to me driving illegally and I pull into this parking space at a restaurant to pick up something for dinner when suddenly I see the lights of a police car that is now parked behind me and instantly I'm stimulated by an energetically charged fear that rushes through me and I'm aware of how warm both of my ears have just become. I turn off my car as the policeman walks to my window and he says to me, when you turned into the parking lot, your left blinker on your car didn't work. And then he asked to see my driver's license and my insurance verification. And I noticed how when he spoke to me, <clears throat> his eyes were fixed upon my freshly shaved head. Then he said to me to, um, for me to start my car and try the blinker to see if it was working, of which I did, and it was working. So he said, well, you failed to use your, your left turn signal upon turning into this uh, parking lot. <clears throat> I nodded, you know, in agreement and turned to retrieve my insurance verification when I realized the single thought pattern that was happening um, within me, within this energetically charged rush of heat and the thought was <clears throat> to just play it up because he will think since my head is shaved that I'm sick because plenty of people ask me if I have cancer because of my shaved head so this single thought pattern was just play it up I immediately stopped the thought and I breathed and I realized the intention of this thought is to just keep me enslaved to this kind of experience of myself for the rest of fucking eternity to enslave me in fear within my acceptance and allowance within a fear-based personality construct wherein I miss the whole point of standing up for equality so in breathing and applying self-forgiveness in that moment it was all instantaneously I made a decision in that moment that I no longer accept and allow this point to be who I am and that no matter what I will face the consequences of myself in this moment and I will remain self-honest. I mean the consequences will not compare to the number of children that are starving to death daily or the millions that are living in poverty. And in that same moment the rush of warmth on my ears and the energy surrounding the moment stopped. I turned to hand him my insurance verification and to in self-honesty or in, and to in self-honesty let him know about my license and I was about to open my mouth to speak when suddenly he said you know what it's okay you can go no problems here and he got in his car and he left I sat there you know in silence realizing that in the moment that I made the decision to face my consequences and to remain self-honest and standing up and facing myself and to stop what I have accepted and allowed the whole experience dissipated and ask anyone and they will tell you that this is not normal of the police in this small town. You know, it was a remarkable, extraordinary moment in realizing the effectiveness of making a definitive decision in self-honesty to direct myself in standing up for all life equally and in self-forgiveness stopping the impulse of enslavement that I have accepted and allowed to exist within myself and within this world. You know, to face myself in self-responsibility in accordance to the laws of the system, of which is me. 
So this is a proven example of how the tools that Destiny Universe offers for each and every one of us is an effective application for all when it's applied. So that's, that's all I wanted to share, and this is, um, I appreciate you hearing. Thanks.